In this video we're going to migrate the Amphis Customer CRM Access Database to a Microsoft SQL Server database using the Microsoft SQL Server Migration Assistant for Access. So here's Amphis Customer. To look at the current configuration, if we go into Tools Configuration, we can see in the database section at the top it's connecting to the local database and that means the local Microsoft Access Database. So we'll close that down and we'll run the Microsoft SQL Server Migration Assistant for Access 32-bit version and this runs a wizard. If we click Next we just have to make sure it's migrating to SQL Server 2012 which is the version I've got installed and then we add the database which is the Microsoft Access database uh, used by Amphis Customer which is this one here and click Next it automatically selects customer database here. Click next. Now here we have to specify which server we're connecting to. Now I'm connecting to SQL Server 2012 on this PC which is called Home, so the server name is just Home. If this was a SQL Server Express version, the server would be dot slash SQL Express and it would probably fill that in for you. So the database is called customer, so when I click next, it says database customer does not exist in SQL Server, do you want to create it? And the answer is yes, we want to create that one. We're not going to link any tables, so we click next and off it goes. It's starting to convert the objects from Access into SQL Server. Click OK. Now it's migrating the tables across to SQL Server. Okay, that's done the job. And we click close and I'll shut down SQL Server Migration Assistant. Don't need to save any changes. Now in Amphis Customer, if I go into Tools Configuration, I can now upgrade to SQL Server. And to do that I specify a connection string. And I happen to know that this is the connection string I need to connect to my server. So the important bit is just the server name here. So home is the name of this PC, so I'm connecting to SQL Server on this PC. Again, if it was a SQL Server Express database, the on the local PC it would be dot backslash SQL Express. And if you click on the SQL Server links here, it'll give you more information on this. And the database is called customer. Now I can test the connection, connection succeeded. So now if I just click OK, it'll just say I'm now going to update the Amphis customer configuration which is stored in the config MGB access database that remains in an access database and it's going to use this connection string so I click yes and it just says close down Amphis customer and restart it and when I do that and then go into tools configuration you can see it's now using SQL Server and I can just test that connection connected OK and that has now changed the configuration in Amphis Customer to use the new SQL Server database which I've just migrated.